address and in my recent recent visit to china i got this xiaomi mi max phone and it's a silver color 32 gb variant and uh, the problem i face with this phone is it's in it's everything is in china and it has all the chinese apps like baidu and all that all the blot web so in order to use it in india i need i had to install a global version of the rom so in this in this video i'll be showing you how to install that and yeah let's go into that first things first um, you don't have to you don't have to get a, a me unlock thing you don't have to unlock your phone or you need to you can directly do this without unlocking your phone so uh, and and the second thing is you need to have a pc and download these files and some some software which i'll be showing you on my system and let's go you need to install me pc suit and you can find the link for this website in the description below and then once you're done with that you need to go to this site and download the me 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 rom flashing tool and once you're done with that you need to install that too and then download the appropriate rom for your uh, uh, me max i'm using me max so i'll be searching for the me max fast boot files these files are required to actually install the uh, rom or, or flash the rom on your device so let us search for that max so this is the me max 30 gb chinese developer version i i wanted to use the global developer rom so i can use it in india so download that it sits around 1.5 gb and let it download I, I had previously downloaded the files and i'll be using those to show you how to install the rom so once you're done with that you need to put your phone to EDL mode and to do that i'll be showing you on your phone and once you put your phone in EDL, you can, you can connect it to your pc and then start the flashing process yeah, let's continue with the process i'll be showing you how to put your phone in EDL mode let's turn it off uh totally turn it off do that click on the power button and then yeah, tap on the power off thing power off options once it's powered down, you need to uh, you need to keep yeah, it should be totally powered down. Then uh, keep holding the volume up and volume down buttons, and then while holding that, you need to plug in your USB. And the other end of the USB should be connected to your computer's USB port. So yeah, let's do that. Keep holding the volume up and volume down buttons, and then while while uh, while while holding the power uh, volume up and volume down, but you need to plug in the USB. I disconnected and now it should be in ideal mode. So yeah, let's continue the process on your PC. Oh, now let us check whether it's uh, properly connected. And the drivers are installed. If the drivers if the drivers are aren't installed, you can again ask again post it in the comment section below. So I'll be showing you how to install the drivers. So, Normally they will be installed in default by, by default uh, when you install the PC suit and this uh, uh, Xiaomi Mi Flash uh, tool. So once you're done, let us refresh and check where the phone is connected. Yeah, as you can see, the first device is uh, connected in the COM4 port, and this is it. Now, as you can see, I downloaded the files previously, and they are in my downloads folder. Let me open that. is the fast boot file which can be directly uh, installed using the which can be directly flashed using the Xiaomi flash before doing that uh, the first thing you need to check is whether the uh, file extension is tgz at the end if it is tar rename it to this thing and then open it with uh, open it or extract it to extract the files and this will take a while and once this is done you need to make you need to rename the folder which is being extracted to to a smaller smaller name otherwise uh, the me flash tool will be showing an error so before doing that you need to before using this folder to flash the files you need to actually rename it to a smaller name like 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 this thing which i did earlier that's the same thing as my previous extracted folder let it get extracted yeah it'll take a while and while flashing do not actually interrupt the process it's better if you're using a laptop because there, there might be any power failures and it might actually break your device you don't need to unlock your phone to do this uh you know you can only if you want to unlock or if you want to install any custom roms on your device like the xiaomi devices you need to actually what 
uh, get, get the unlock permission from the Xiaomi. Uh, so for uh, for flashing the official files on your phone, such as these these things which are downloaded from the Xiaomi's uh, uh, official websites for the fast boot files, you don't need you don't actually need to unlock your phone. And if you like this video, you can actually click on the like button. Or if you have any other problems, do mention it in the comment section below. I'll try to rectify it in the future videos. Yeah, the extraction is done. Yeah, once it's extracted, you can actually what change the name to a smaller thing such as Max. It can be anything. Just make it smaller. Otherwise, uh, the uh, yeah, this software, which is the Mi Flash Beta tool, will give you a an error. Click on the select and then go to the downloads where you download it. Let's see. Downloads and max. Select the folder. Yeah, it's better you actually rename that to. I'm only doing this so that you can't, you don't actually face any errors. Uh, as I was searching the forums before I faced this error, so I'm actually renaming it to the shortest file name possible. And then the link selected max and then max. Okay. I should do it. And these are all the files which are required. And now, yeah, let us start the flash. So this will take a while. Uh, it will flash uh, all the system dot image and the recovery dot image and everything directly. You don't need to actually manually hit fast uh, hit the fast boot commands to install it. Yeah, once this is done, you'll be having a phone, which uh, you'll be having a Max or a Xiaomi device with the developers with the international global ROM installed on it. And do subscribe to my channel to get all the future updates. And yeah, it would be helpful for me. Mm. And let the process be done. Once the process is done, don't try, don't actually interrupt or remove your cable. It might actually break your device. And yeah, it's 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 not actually breaking. You can uh, it might I it doesn't work. Your phone doesn't work, and it will take a while to actually fix it back to normal. So don't interrupt the process. and wait for it <laughs> yeah it has taken more than 1052 seconds and it's still flashing yeah flashing is done and now it's showing the result as success now what you need to do is you need to go to your phone and restart it forcefully that is by pressing the power button for more than eight seconds it will restart on its own and you must be having an international or the global ROM on your phone. Yeah, let's, let us do that. Now let's go to my, let's check out the phone whether it's done or not. Yeah, I have disconnected my USB, USB wire and now let us restart it. Force restart it to do that. Keep holding the power button for more than 8 seconds. And yeah. There will be a beep and then the me logo will be appearing. And wait for the boot process to be done. It will take then well it will take a while for it to boot on and yeah. You can see it's showing that Android and it's loading. It will take it will take a, it will take some time. Don't don't be worried about that. And I'll be back once the boot up is done because it'll take more than like five to four, five to six minutes. Booted after five minutes and now let us go. As you can see, the international ROM uh, installed and it's showing all the uh, all the languages available. And I'm selecting English India and next. And let me select my country as India. And I'm using it in my country. Yeah, do that account to your uh, local. Yeah, the starting setup will take a while on the phone. and yeah this setup can be done normally
and this is how you install uh, developer the, uh, sorry the global rom on your my ui device and it doesn't need to be have it, it you don't have to need uh, an unlock for your phone you can do it directly if you're down it down yeah it's done let me set the google keyboard and then next and skip that i agree that and skip this step continue no skip this step Yeah, you're ready to rock and that's it for this video thanks for watching the video people and this is once signing off take care and goodbye